Hi, I'm Kalpana, Product Manager of the eVault Granular Restore for Microsoft SharePoint. In this demo, we will take a look at how to recover Microsoft SharePoint items using the Granular Recovery tool. So the Granular Restore for Microsoft SharePoint is a tool that offers the ability to restore individual SharePoint items like sites, site collections, lists, documents, and libraries. There's no granular backup of SharePoint objects, so the tool leverages SQL backup of the SharePoint content database as the source for the restore. So users will simply have to mount the SQL backup and retrieve the missing or corrupted item. And the Granular Restore tool supports only SharePoint 2010 and 2013 versions. Some of the key benefits and features here are, number one, faster backup and reduced storage. So there's no special backup for protecting SharePoint items. You will have to backup only the SharePoint content database, which is much faster than any granular backup. And you'll be able to perform SharePoint document level recovery, site level recovery, and database level recovery all from a single database backup. Hence, less storage and less cost. Number two is reduced downtime. eVault provides all levels of protection for SharePoint environment for faster recovery, granular protection to recover SharePoint items using the GRT, the granular tool, database protection recovers SharePoint databases using the eVault SQL plugin, and for DR protection, in the event of a disaster, you can use the bare metal restore solution to recover the entire SharePoint server. How does it work? Uh, you have two components, the eVault SQL agent, which is installed on the SQL server, and the eVault granular restore tool installed on the SharePoint server. So you need to perform a SQL backup of the SharePoint content database using the SQL agent. You use the central control or eVault portal to mount the database backup and use the granular restore tool to interact with SQL to restore the SharePoint items from the database backup. You can either restore it to the SharePoint server or to the file system. So let's see a demo now. Uh, I'm going to show a SharePoint 2010 environment here, but both SharePoint 2010 and 2013 will be identical, and the user experience to restore items will be very similar. So this is a single server farm. Both SQL and SharePoint are on the same server. And uh, this is the Windows Central Control application. I have a SQL job that backs up SharePoint content database, and I also have a granular restore tool installed here. So the restore workflow starts from the central control or the eVault portal. You select the SQL database job and select restore option and the granular restore for SharePoint option. You select the safe set that you want to restore from. I'm going to select the last safe set here, the last backup, and uh, you can share the safe set. Now it pops up with a URL that you can use with the tool to mount and restore SharePoint individual items. This is the granular restore tool. You need to connect to the SQL server instance, add the mounted path to the safe set, and attach the SharePoint content database from the backup. If you have multiple content databases, only one can be attached at any one time, and you need to attach both LDF and the MDF files. Once attached, you can then proceed to perform granular restore of Microsoft SharePoint objects. And there are two ways to navigate here. One is to drill through the sites and objects that have child items, just like this. And the other way to look at it is by the type of data. You can navigate through the icons on the top, the site collections, websites, lists, libraries, folders, list items and documents. So if you select websites, it'll list all the websites. And if you select list items, it'll list all the list items as well. So based on the amount of data, it'll just take some time to load here. Okay, now I have uh, a few documents on my SharePoint server here. I'm going to go ahead and delete uh, these two documents, demo doc one and demo doc two. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit refresh here. And it's deleted now. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, use the granular restore tool to put it back onto the production server. I'm going to drill inside the folders and uh, select the documents to restore. In this case, uh, demo doc1 and demo doc2. You can also restore multiple documents or uh, the entire folder if required. I'm going to do a live restore. You can either do a live restore or save it to the disk. So I'm doing a live restore here to the original location. And uh, I'm just going to start the restore process. Okay, the restore has completed successfully. 
and uh, if I go back uh, and refresh the page here I should be able to view the documents that we deleted it's right here so you can also restore to a different location within SharePoint or save it to the file system I hope uh, this was helpful and uh, thanks for watching and be sure to check out our other eVault videos